We're back and this is episode 7, Child of the Moat. Very, um, Twilight this episode. Let me just say. Not a fan. With the of wolves Twilight. and the transforming into human and wolf. Like, it's just kind of crazy. Yeah, it's it's super weird. I, I like some of the side stuff that's going on and I love Ruby's character. However, this Twilight turn teen fan fiction crap is not really... Ah! Team anti-Twilight here. Ruby finds her birth mom, like, and kind of, you know, gets away from Granny a bit, and, um, her birth mom actually, but it's really kind of weird, because her birth mom leads, like, a wolf kind of cult, and mm -hmm. wants Ruby to be there, but they're, like, mm -hmm. they hate humans, but in the end, Ruby can't kill humans, or, um, because she's a good person at heart, and doesn't yes. buy into the Twilight crap. And in the end, like, it's really sad, Ruby has to end up killing her mom, which is, like, really yeah. sad. But, um, yeah, you see a lot of running with wolves and wolf pack stuff, so very Twilight. Ooh. Ooh. So in the real world, Henry keeps having these really bad dreams. Um, he's in this place that's fiery and he wakes up and it's anxiety and it's just, just really terrifying. Especially like I remember as a little kid I used to get like really bad nightmares. And I just remember like I, waking up and not knowing if I was like really awake or not awake. And so I can imagine like Henry's going through kind of that same thing. So um, David, his grandfather, doesn't really know um, what how to help him. He, do, he doesn't know what to do. These are they're strange dreams. They're not normal nightmares. It's a recurring thing. Um, so he asks Regina to stay with him through the night while he sleeps because this kid is terrified to sleep. And um, Regina ends up taking him to Mr. Gold, to Rumpelstiltskin, to be like, hey, like, can, can you tell me what's going on? Because this is, it's not normal and it seems magical and it's really bad. Um, so what, what Mr. Gold tells them is, when you go under a sleeping curse, which um, Henry's gone under um, during the first season, you your soul gets taken to this place that's neither living nor dead. Um, you're mm -hmm. unconscious and you're in this in-between world. So every time you go to sleep after the curse has been broken, once you've woken up, you're, you get taken back to this in-between place. Where Very interesting concept. Definitely. Um, it's, it's kind of, uh, you're neither alive nor dead. Um, and the, this it only happens to victims that have been under the sleeping curse. Yeah. So, um, as of right now, only Mary Margaret, mm -hmm. Henry, because he bit the apple, and, and Aurora, because of Maleficent. Yeah, and so, um, Mr. Gold gives Henry this amulet that will, um, it kind of allows him to calm down in, inside the dream and allows him to kind of control his actions a little bit. Um, on the, the other side in the Enchanted Forest, we see Aurora, and she's going through the same thing. She's been put under the curse, and she has these terrible nightmares um, where she's in the, the fiery place, and she can't move. She's paralyzed. She's just there, and it's scary. And so um, the end of the episode, she falls asleep, and she goes into this, this terrifying dream, and so does Henry, but Henry calms down a little bit, and he can control things, and he tells her, like, it, it's okay. It's going to be okay. And she wakes up and tells Mary Margaret. Mary Margaret's like, there's a little boy in your dream now? Like, what? Oh, my gosh. And I and think she says, I think his name, I think he said his name was Henry. Yeah, and so it just it brings so hope to these cool. characters. Like, there is a way to communicate through these people's dreams. But what else will that entail? It takes, there's a lot yeah. more that it entails to be under that curse. Definitely. You'll find out soon in the next episode of Once. Yeah, so like, watch, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye!